So you know communism isn't doing too good when there's a Starbucks right across the street from Tenement Square. All right, so we're at the uh, police museum, and we've been here for a little while, and they're letting us play this game where we can shoot people. So people attack people, and then we get to shoot them. Come on, it! Oh. I know it's off, but it's so much fun. So this is Tenement Square, and this is the Mal Memorial thing, right here. He's supposed to be in there, chilling, waiting for us. And this is all the zillions and zillions of Chinese tourists. And that's about it. It's not as spectacular as you would think, to be completely honest. The region feels a little bit like DC though, when you like walk around the outside of Tenement Square. It feels like the mall, kind of. Um, just the big buildings look kind of like you just feel like you're walking past the Smithsonian and stuff. There's not like a big piece of green like there is in the middle of DC, but it really does feel a lot like it. So we just went through and saw uh, Chairman Mao's body, which is on display in Tenement Square. It's orange. Yeah, he's orange now. So he looks a bit like an Oompa Loompa. Yeah. Like a big, fat, dead Oompa Loompa. Sad. <laughs> he didn't sing any songs though, so no, he a little bit of a dead. letdown. Um, to do so, you have to wait in a line. It's about two, two and a half hours long. And um, you're dealing with um, Chinese people who essentially just act like six-year-olds, like all of them. And they'll stand in a line, and you'll be in a line like this, and then they'll be like up against you like this the whole time, and they'll be pushing you because that's how it rolls here. Show me running. <laughs> and, and then if there's a little gap in the line, like somehow like a little, like a little gap shows up, the old people will all run they run to fill the gap like <laughs> it's really really ridiculous and i mean people in other countries in asia do the same thing but here it's a totally new level <laughs> like it is completely a new level of obnoxious so uh we did do some running by the way we, we did do running <laughs> it was pretty good Welcome to the pit of despair. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bit odd. In um, China, they've got these machines where these people are playing this fishing game, and they're just pouring money into it, like out of buckets. Like it looks like a slot machine the way they're treating it, and um, it's gambling. Like they hit this button and it shoots this net out, and if it catches fish, it dumps like coins back out of the bottom. I'm not sure if they can, and they're using token, tokens like you use in an arcade. I'm not sure if they can exchange the tokens for cash or exactly how that works out. I'd imagine you can because it's a bunch of old people, like old people. It's just not teenagers, it's not people playing, it's not video game people. It's like casino people sitting around these things. And like I said, they are just, they're just pouring money into them, like 30 and $40 at a shot. It's really strange. China is the 10th country that we have been to in the last seven and a half months. And it is the first time in seven and a half months that we have seen one of these. Not the honky, not the KFC, but the Walmart. We need to go in and buy some socks. And uh, in Walmart, here, these are frogs. And she's got them frozen and she's smacking them and pulling them apart. All right, so we're in Walmart, and I was walking down in the underwear section, and I turn around the corner, and this bucket is here. Around the bucket earlier were a man and his son, and he had instructed the son to pee in the bucket. Notice that the man and the son aren't here anymore, but the pee-filled bucket is. Chinese people just don't give a shit. Somebody's going to go to do something with that bucket and not know what's in it, and they're going to get piss all over them. Well, unless they can hold a bucket without pouring it on themselves, but... That's just gross. Like, if, if you're gonna do that, take the bucket and pour it into a sink or something, or in a toilet. Like... Don't pee in a bucket in the middle of Walmart. Yeah. 
<laughs> Walmart's hit a new low. Yeah, disrespectful folks. <laughs> I'm in a Walmart in Beijing looking at a movie about the Russian Revolution. <laughs> Something about that. Something about that's pretty good. And then right next to it is a John Wayne, John Wayne movie. So the other day we went in and uh, I had to buy some tampons and um, I opened up the package and it's the normal thing that you normally get and then I found these and I wasn't sure exactly what they were. At first I thought that they were like you put them, you put the used tampon in here and put it in the trash can so it's not so nasty but then I realized that the Chinese are so sanitary conscious Kinda. <laughs> that it's not going on very well. It's a finger condom. Because they don't come with applicators here. Boys, I am really sorry you're having to hear all this, but finger condoms. The last seven places we've been that I bought tampons in, no finger condoms. Here, finger condoms. But we love to use squatters, and we love to let our kids shit in the park, and <laughs> we really like just... Let dogs pee on people's property. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm baffled a little bit, China. Just a little bit. We've entered a new mode of transportation. That's our driver. We are facing backwards. A little door. That's how we get out. I think this thing looks awesome, too. Yes, 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 we're good. Thank you. Bye! <laughs> this is the coolest mode of transportation ever. <laughs> um, so, I haven't run into this before. I have to pee kind of bad. But I just am not comfortable with the idea that any lady could walk in and we would just be sharing an intimate moment of me peeing. I mean... I haven't done that since I was really little, you know, like in my own home with my mom and stuff. So this is just really weird. And then there's actually a Western, which is kind of nice, but it is, I don't understand. This is okay. I guess doing it out on the streets, not much better, but they do that. So I guess this is a little bit better or inside. I'm a little baffled and I'm going to hold it. Hold on, hold on. Now it just feels all cliche and I've got to talk. Katie, about what's a holla girl? <laughs> a holla girl is a girl that, like, you call her in the middle of the night and you holla at her and she comes right on over. She's hollering back. <laughs> oh. 